The following video is part of my DMVPN from Basics to Scalable Networks webinar. To learn more about my webinars, please visit my website. It's recommended to use eBGP. So different AS numbers on hubs and spokes. And then on the spoke side, you just configure the hub as the neighbor and you redistribute connected interfaces or you just list them with the network statement. If you redistribute connected interfaces into BGP, you have to be very careful that you don't redistribute the internet interface into BGP as well. Because if you do that, then all of a sudden the tunnel endpoint will become reachable over the tunnel, you will get recursive routing and the whole thing will drop down and then be reestablished just to drop down again. So what I'm doing is I'm redistributing connected interfaces with a route map that uses a prefix list that matches my internal IP addresses. So this whole configuration on the spoke router ensures that only my internal prefixes will get redistributed into BGP. On the hub router, obviously you have to list every spoke router individually. And listing all the BGP parameters on every neighbor is a nightmare. So it's a good idea to using peer policy templates where you specify all the BGP parameters like I want to send community, I should set the next hop to be myself, I want to filter some updates maybe, I want to originate the default route if that's your design. And all these parameters are specified only once in the peer policy template and then you just apply the peer policy template on a neighbor and the neighbor inherits all the parameters. So yet again, the hub router must be IP next hop, which means that you should use the next hop self on all BGP neighbors. The best way to do it is through policy templates. And if you want to minimize the routing updates, filter them or maybe advertise the BGP default route to the spokes with default originate command. To get more information about my webinars, to register for an online session or buy a recording, please visit my website.